We are at a pivotal moment where smart manufacturing, driven by cloud computing and big data, bring in a new wave of changes in human life and industrial development. There has never been a time in computing history when memory and storage innovation was more critical than today. Let's turn the spotlight on the prestigious part of the WEF Global Lighthouse Network, Micron. Micron Taiwan is the first Taiwan fab that received the WEF Lighthouse recognition, which highlights Micron's great achievements in Leverage Industry 4.0 technologies at scale. Memory components, which are an indispensable part of this digital life, as well as memory manufacturers, will have a particularly significant role to play in this revolutionary time of digital technology. Micron's implementation of smart manufacturing and data analysis is inspiring in that it tremendously reduces the amount of resources used and saves time. Problems that were previously hard to decipher can now be solved using data analytics in a fraction of the time. Adopting a data-led approach allows us to constructively integrate, process and analyze large amounts of data from multiple sources to facilitate decision-making through simulation and to reuse the data to experiment and test conclusions. It is important to establish new business models with forward-looking technologies and ensure that they retain their competitive edge in the upcoming digital ecosystem. Let's find out how with Micron. So smart manufacturing for us is a key enabler in terms of bringing the latest uh, technology of memory and storage devices to our customers. Um, we apply smart manufacturing and industry 4.0 solutions to many parts of our production. But if I focus specifically on manufacturing, there's three main areas that we focus on. One is how do we enable fast, faster yield ramps, um, faster cycles of learning from R&D to our full production. And we do that by building advanced diagnostic capabilities, uh, for example, advanced fingerprinting and equipment matching capabilities, where we work very closely with our equipment suppliers. The second area that we focus on for manufacturing is around quality. Um, we deploy a lot of IoT, new sensor devices in our production line so that we can detect early on any sort of anomaly. So we're talking here about video sensors, image sensors, acoustic sensors, etc. The third area that we focus on for manufacturing is around planning and simulation capabilities. We have a very complex manufacturing flow with more than 1500 production steps. So these advanced planning and simulation capabilities really help us to drive the next level of throughput and cycle time. First and foremost, we work closely with our suppliers and with our customers uh, when you think of our extended supply network. Um, with our suppliers, we actually work around um, understanding the information of our suppliers itself, but also our supplier suppliers so that we quickly can respond to any sort of events in our extended supply chain. And we are able to build simulation capabilities as well so that we build additional supply chain resiliency. And secondly, we collaborate very closely with our customers understanding any sort of early demand shifts that are happening so that we can respond as well uh, through our flexible production. Very valid question. I do think uh, scaling is, is really the key word here. It is actually fairly straightforward to take a technology lens and drive a lot of individual pilots. Um, you see a lot of companies trying out these new technologies, but the challenge is indeed around scaling. Um, in Micron, we invested heavily around our, our data platforms. One is to make sure that the data, no matter from which site you are looking at or for which function, that it is uh, aligned and, and fully integrated. Um, and we invest a lot around infrastructure to make it scalable. We have hundreds of thousands of sensors in our manufacturing site, so it's huge, we're talking about huge amounts of uh, volumes of data. So you do need to invest constantly in latest level of technologies. And another area where uh, I think we're doing a really good job in terms of scaling is bringing together people with different backgrounds. Um, for example, um, to do a really good smart manufacturing project, you actually need to bring together functional knowledge, people that you know have, have the knowledge around engineering and manufacturing, but you need to bring them together with people that have the right skills in terms of data science, data engineering, IT skills, etc. So we early on form what we call an end-to-end -end project team um, to bring all these people together dedicated for that specific effort to make sure it is designed upfront as something that can scale in the organization. 
I think if, if we look forward, um, what would be some of the key lessons in my mind it is, one, we need to live with this level of uncertainty, right? Like th there, there will be other pandemics, there will be other natural disaster risks that, that, that we have to face. So we will have to design our supply chains in such a way that we can deal with these levels of variability and uncertainty. And we can actually achieve that. And, and digital transformation is a key enabler of that, enabler things like remote support for our operation. I have obviously a, a very strong background in terms of engineering and manufacturing talent. At the same time, we need to combine it with additional new skills. And these new skills are data science, data engineering, IT software skills that really build new types of solutions that can help us in our day-to-day -day work. So we work very closely together with the universities to build the curricula that we believe will really enable the students with the next generation of skills. We, we enable an opportunity for students to really see what a day-to-day -day looks like in Micron. And at the same time, we learn a lot from the new research areas and from new capabilities that universities have built in. So I feel like it's really a win-win of combining uh, university and industry. Um, and we, we double down very much in Micron on enabling these new skills as part of our smart manufacturing journey. Smart Manufacturing Expo Taiwan will be held on December 28 to 30 and located with Semicon Taiwan 2021 this year. The largest in scale in its own history, this year's Smart Manufacturing Expo Taiwan will be gathering smart manufacturing solution providers across the high-tech manufacturing industry, system integration, software and hardware solution providers and smart manufacturing demand-side players. The smart manufacturing journey will be joined by leading companies such as Adlink, AWS, Beckhoff, FET, Siemens and TM Robot to put on a hands-on interactive experience of the latest smart manufacturing technology.